Hi everybody, so I'm up early for once. Usually I'm not up this early. Uh, it's about eight o'clock and this place, I guess is just opening up. I was driving through Arkansas, through Bentonville and came upon this place called the fire truck. So this is literally a food truck, like a, it's specifically brunch. Brunch all day is what they say. That kind of rhymed. Out of a fire truck, so of course I have to eat here. I think this is super, super cool. So uh, they're about to open up. I'm probably gonna order quite a few items. They basically said their classics include like the Nashville hot chicken, which I'm like, okay, listen, it's Nashville hot chicken at 8 a.m. I can deal with that. Um, breakfast burger, I love beef, and uh, a few other things. So I'm just gonna kind of order a whole bunch. I probably, well, I don't know, let's see. I'm pretty hungry, so we're gonna order a couple items. We're gonna see what this is all about. Um, really cool area here. I'm gonna find out a little bit more about Bentonville. I don't really know much, admittingly, but I'll find out from the staff here and include that. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, fire truck, Bentonville. Let's go eat some food, let's have some fun, and uh, Rock and rolling guys, 8 a.m. food, so let's have some brunch. Everybody's here with all the items, looks awesome. Um, I will say, as we're outside, there's definitely gonna be a couple flies, but hey, that's just part of it. Luckily, I don't mind sharing. So in front of me, I have the avocado toast, this looks awesome. We have the smashed avocado, charred corn, pickled blackberries, it's really cool, goat's cheese. Um, then I also have the uh, fruit salad that was a side I went with, and this is actually marinated in like orange juice, orange zest, poppy seeds so it looks pretty good and then have the breakfast burger which looks awesome so it's actually a beef pork and like chorizo basically patty a lovely fried egg and they're my big egg on burger person let me know if you're as well down below and then i have their vegetable chips so we have beets we have taro we have parsnips so kind of like a little more healthy rendition on like your potato chip and then have the natural hot which i'm super excited about this is actually on a house made waffle we have some Spicy pickles here, which they make. Went with the Brussels sprouts as a side. I do love me some fried Brussels sprouts. These actually have buffalo sauce on them. Um, I see some pecans, which is amazing. They also uh, make the Nashville sauce here. Love it. I love a good fried chicken. It is using a boneless thigh. Love it, love it. You know I love those thighs. I have the grilled peach salad. Yes, so literally, grilled peaches on some local greens. The radishes, they said they just got a farmer's market yesterday, so that's pretty cool. They go with the seasonality. I then have this equality wrap. So part of the proceeds of this wrap actually go to charity, which is a really cool local charity. We have everything from like a cucumber uh, tabbouleh on it. We have the, uh, of course, greens itself. Also a jalapeno hummus, um, some pickled onions, all that good stuff. And then I have this. This is interesting. This is a Monte Cristo. So this is actually a fried sandwich. Yes, a fried sandwich with a like berry puree kind of jam on top. I think there's jam in it as well. A house made ham, like Canadian bacon, and all kinds of stuff, which is super cool. I went with their uh, potato bombs, which is a cheese filled kind of hash brown bacon top, daioli top, thingy thing. So it all looks really good. No shortage of stuff here. I do have some extra hot sauces. I have some ketchup should I need it. But guys, this is super cool. Like I said, I've never eaten food out of a food truck, so I'm definitely excited to. This whole area is kind of like the downtown slash arts district of Bentonville, and uh, it's super cool. Oh, check this out. They sell iced tea in bags. It's kind of like an adult juice box. I am a fan. So uh, yeah, that's about that, and uh, I'm hungry. Let's eat. You know I'm all about them healthy grains, so I'll probably start with probably this peach salad. It's just actually a curry vinaigrette we got going on. I'm gonna dive into them greens. I've never had pickled blackberries. And in the, the yellow, the, the, they definitely get the deep richness of that curry tones there, that turmeric. Give this a good old shot. Mmm, curry. The sweetness of those peaches mm, goes really, really, really well. With kind of a little bit of the oil aspect of that vinaigrette, that curry flavor. Really enjoying this, guys. Super, super fresh. I'm definitely a fan. The pickled blackberries as well. Surprisingly delicious. I've never had something like that. It still has a texture, which is really nice. I recommend. Next, I'm probably gonna dive into the breakfast burger, guys. So, candy bacon on there. All the delicious, there's a spicy aioli. Let's see, I think this yolk is, oh my gosh, look at that. We got a runny yolk. I'm all about that runny yolk action. That's a bite I want, that's a bite I'm going to take. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Guys, this is absolutely 
Fantastic. The flavor of that, that chorizo, that candy bacon, that egg. A little bit of spice on it. Really, nice, really, really, really savory. Here's some local hot sauce. Maybe I'll try just a bite of that on there. Mm. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, yeah. Some hot sauce, savory burger. Definitely a buy. Next, I think it's only suiting. I go with the Nashville hot. So this is awesome. This is a house-made spicy pickle. Good amount of heat. Really nice and crisp. Uh, this looks cool, guys. I don't think I actually had a Nashville hot on waffles. Nashville hot sauce up in there. All the greens. Some pickles. Give this a try. Very good. Oh, man. That fried chicken. Really nice seasoning on it. I'm getting actually a, a surprisingly good heat. And uh, so they do have the um, extra spicy sauce, which again, I have right here. Put some extra of that on there. Mm. Great heat on it. Those greens. Oh, and there's a jalapeno relish on this. They mentioned that. I really got that nice bite with that one. Beautiful, guys. I love me some hot, spicy chicken. Oh, wow. This is heat. The heat is building up. This is one of the items you're known for. I'm definitely glad I got to try it. Very, very good. Now, I definitely got to try these Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Bitterness of that Brussels sprout. The savoriness when you fry them. Very, very good. And I think it's that they're pecans on it. It's actually walnuts. I totally misspoke earlier, but good Brussels sprouts. Nice crisp them, too. Not overcooked. Good call. Herbal peach tea. Very, very good. It's like one of those, uh, what is it, Capri Suns or whatever? Or like a Kool-Aid jammer? I love it. Let's try this wrap. So we got tabbouleh, we got the uh, jalapeno hummus, all that good stuff, some pickled onions. Good amount of greens in that. It is vegetarian as well. Ooh, nice bite. I really get the chickpeas from the hummus. Really good. I'm getting like a very satiating bite. A lot of greens in there. I love it. That cucumber tabbouleh. I mean, just look at that. Look how much that is on there. You get a lot in this wrap. And near the end, look at this. Look how much hummus and stuff is in there. It's all the way through. And shout out all those pickled onions in there. I love it. Now let's break into something that's going to be, I think, more than savory, guys. Again, we're talking literally jams, hams, like Canadian bacon, and cheese on a fried sandwich. Not a fried sandwich. Love the blueberries, love the puree on top. Let's give uh, this thing a bite. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm down. Okay. Like a really nice kind of ham and cheese, Canadian bacon vibe. I definitely get a sweetness, both from the fried bread, obviously the jam in there, the textures in there, the soft, I have the more crispy, very, very good. Rich though, I will tell you that much. So these blueberries and this edge, I saved this edge for last because it is Crispy, crispy, and fried. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, very good. Is that just filling? You will not need more than one of those. And I'll try these potato bombs. I did get one, just try it. Well, I got the two, it's got it as a side. So bacon, aioli, cheese, like a hash brown. Okay, it's such a really, really nice flavor to that. I almost get like, I would say like paprika, Maybe like onion in there. Very good. Incredibly rich. I'm glad I gave it a try. Last but not least, fruit salad. Watermelon. Some honey melon. Crazy. Wow, okay. So if I didn't know it was marinated in orange juice, I wouldn't have been able to, to place that flavor. But the poppy seeds and that dynamic of that orange juice, crazy. It changes some of like the flavors of like the pineapple. It makes it a lot more mild. It's actually really nice. I would not have been able to identify that with orange juice though because it doesn't taste like oranges maybe some poppy seeds the poppy seeds even have a flavor let me know what you think down below i thought they were always just kind of decorative but that's really good can anybody ever complain about fruit salad eat your fruits and vegetables kids this lovely looking avocado toast so this looks stunning i have never had avocado toast with charred corn on it nor pickled blackberries so let's try it Give it a nice bite, good old taste, lots of avocado on here. Basil, wow. Honey, really nice sweetness. That goat cheese adds quite a richness as well, honestly. Mm. I can tell the bread is buttered. It's cool because some real rich items, the little bit of the sweet and tartness of the pickled blackberries helps counteract it, helps balance it. Because that goat cheese 
and the avocado itself, it packs a punch. It is really, really good. I now have eaten Southern style brunch out of a fire truck, so that was pretty cool. Hey, I'm glad I did. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a really cool spot here. So I'll tell you what surprised me the most. That peach salad was so nice and fresh. This kind of uh, vinaigrette they got going there with the curry, absolutely, absolutely stellar. I really, really enjoyed the flavors on that Nashville hot, that fried chicken. The paprika, the cayenne, it really came through. I wasn't sure what to expect because I know they didn't do like an oil dress, do like a sauce, and it comes through 100%. It really just tastes like a Nashville hot. And it's on waffles, which adds a really kind of cool sweetness to that. Really, really like that. The relish on there was fire. Um, the breakfast burger was really, really good. I think, honestly, I'd say the breakfast burger and the Nashville hot were probably my favorite, but the quality wrap deserves some uh, deserves some shout out too. Always gotta be equal here. Um, but with that, everybody, like I said, really cool spot, Bentonville. This is a super, super cool area. The staff here have been super accommodating. They literally let me put a table right here in front of the truck because it's a little like harsh lighting over there. Um, so yeah, shout out to them. They have a big seating area here and everything. So yeah, if you ever want a brunch, you're in the area, really cool place. I definitely recommend stopping on by. Um, but everyone, until next time, of course, happy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it. I had some good food. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Until next time, goodbye. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. Okay guys, I forgot. I don't care. I don't care how early it is. I you always need, well, you don't always need dessert, but I need dessert right now. Guys, this is banana pudding. This is one of my all time favorite desserts. You can really only get it in part of the country. We have a coconut macaroon on top. <laughs> Give that a little taste. Mm. Oh, coconut. Mm. And they said they make everything here, even the pudding. Guys, there's one at the bottom too. So no vanilla wafers. Coconut macaroons. Damn, that's good. All right. All right, I'm gonna try this. The thickness of this. Wow. They make the whipped cream. Woo wee. The layers. Holy crap, man! I can't believe how much of that macaroon is in here. That thick, thick, thick set real whipped cream, the banana pudding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is crazy. Let me try without the, the little bit of the coconut in there. Mm. Really, really nice, rich, rich, rich pudding. I gotta say, so I've never had a banana pudding with like a coconut aspect in it. Mm. It's good. Real banana pieces. Now they make everything, the guy, and I quote, said they make everything in here, but they don't, and but they don't grow the bananas. And I was like, listen, if you grew the bananas, I would be more than impressed. That was it. I've had enough, but yeah, like I said, totally recommend coming on by. Really cool spot, but I really wanted to try this place out. I've never seen a food truck slash restaurant out of a fire truck. So that was awesome. And it is, oh, hold on, move. 10 a.m. right on the dot, guys. 10 a.m. right on the dot. And guess what we're going? The Walmart Museum just opened, so we're gonna hit that up real quick before we gotta head out of Bentonville, Arkansas. So yes, if you're not familiar, there is a Walmart Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas. It's the home of Walmart. They have the whole town, the whole place, the whole city is Walmart. So let's go learn about the history of Walmart. So outside the Walmart Museum, so Walton's, Walton's five to 10. So, um, it obviously started as a much more humbler, you know, everything shop, I guess you could say. So if we come on in, it does say uh, admission is free in the door. We have books and little miscellaneous goods and candies behind. So let's go see what it's all about. All right. And we're heading in. Got some restrooms here to start, probably pretty smart. So we have early years about um, Walton. He was born in Oklahoma and Sam. So if you notice Sam, Sam's Club, there's a little bit of an initiative there. Um, and we'll get some more info. Okay, so really cool to kind of summarize what's been said so far because there was a movie. Um, so uh, Sam, Walton, which is the founder of Walmart Group during the Great Depression. Um, basically his dream, like through that, was to bring affordable goods to people of small towns, kind of like he was growing up. So um, he more or less started a first 
uh, store called Ben Franklin's. It's like a uh, little, not convenience store, but you know, like a little market, which is a franchise um, that he did that. And then he started his own Walton's five and 10, which is here in Bentonville. His brother, whose name is Bud Walton, also was open at Ben Franklin's. And so between 1950, when Walton's was first opened, and uh, 1965, they opened uh, about 15 locations in the Bentonville, Arkansas area, also sp spreading a little bit in like Missouri, and kind of the surrounding, you know, small rural areas, um, which is pretty cool. And Sam Walton also got um, later in life. And then right before he died, um, Sam Walton uh, actually got the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest civilian uh, award as per, you know, trying to lower the cost of living for everybody, so. Pretty cool. And they actually opened under the name of Walmart Discount City. So again, I mean, really, the uh, the main hope of, of, of Walmart really does seem to bring, you know, the cost of uh, living down for everybody. This is really funny, I have some um, famous returns. This is a water bottle, which was made eight years before Walmart even opened, but they actually accepted it because it leaked. So it was, definitely wasn't purchased at Walmart. Uh, this thermometer was returned because it never told the correct time. Um, this was returned because I didn't serve well, no joke, it's been crushed. Um, this uh, uh, pencil sharpener was returned because it didn't sharpen uh, ink pens. Um, this toy, fishing rod or whatever it was uh, was returned because they didn't catch any fish with it and this is cool so this is actually the exact setup of Sam's office when he died everything from the paneling to the carpet so a few you know quick uh, you know first things I noticed and it did say that he didn't actually spend much time here because most time he was out on the uh, like at the actual stores so he liked to hunt, so he has some like stuffed quail and partridge there, ice quail. He has a shotgun in the corner. I don't think many um, company presidents or CEOs would, you know, often get away with just having a, you know, casually having a shotgun in the corner <laughs> um, nowadays, uh, you know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool how they were able to preserve this actually. Um, super impressive. So I like it. Obviously, he did some reading and all the above. So by 95, they have 100,000 associates, almost 1,000 stores. They introduce a Buy American program. Uh, they have the first Walmart hypermarket in Garland, Texas, which is right by Dallas. And yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Going into the 90s, we have the Vision Center. Um, it's the nation's number one retailer, which is pretty impressive. Um, Walmart goes global with a uh, opening of a Walmart and Sam's Club in Mexico City, which is pretty cool. Um, Mr. Sam, unfortunately, passes away at 74. True shame. Um, he did again get that uh, Medal of Freedom, which I think is I mean, hey, he, he did a, it was pretty revolutionary what he did, let's be honest, the way he took this business, obviously changed uh, a lot of shopping for a lot of people. Um, there is a Walmart International division which is created, they uh, start getting more environmentally friendly, first billion dollar sales week, some more stuff. Um, in 94, Walmart buys 122, Wolco stores in Canada, so they looks like maybe this is either when they first opened up in Canada or when they really started to expand. Um, they started doing some volunteer work. They have, you know, again, a complete retail and online system at this point. Get its first store in China. Um, and then they have the concept of the neighborhood market, which are kind of like those really smaller grocery stores which they've done. And then uh, Graham's grand opening of Sam's Club in Mexico. Pretty cool. 
some other history. So they opened their 1,000th Super Center in Robert, uh, Missouri. Um, it is the first service company, number one on the Fortune 500. They started doing a lot of, uh, well, 15 million to relief organizations in 9-11. They uh, acquire um, stores in Puerto Rico. They heavily contribute to the uh, World War II Memorial in Washington. They uh, join with uh, Unilever, which makes um, like a lot of different soaps and stuff, like a lot of big brands. They have uh, wildlife habitats. They basically become, uh, they, they get into Central America, they have generic uh, prescription drug programs. Um, Helen, his wife, unfortunately passes away. Uh, they have uh, stores in India. They do new brand look with the Spark in 2008. Um, they commit $2 billion to help end hunger. Quite a few uh, different veterans initiatives going on here, which is cool. Uh, they get into Africa. They do grocery pickup. And they do the two-day shipping, competing with Amazon. And next day delivery, home delivery kits, and the list just kind of goes on. So that's kind of to today. And here's actually Sam's 1979 Ford half ton, which is pretty cool that they have the actual uh, actual truck. It's pretty funny. I mean, good way to preserve it. Um, filled with, you know, again, he was into hunting and fishing, specifically quail. And uh, he was out in South Texas often, which is pretty cool. But you can see some of his licenses. Obviously he has some bird shot there. Him and his wife and his dogs. Um, apparently these shotgun shells have Sam's name printed on them. That's pretty cool. And then you enter or exit through the soda and ice cream shop. So that's pretty. That's a pretty cool way to uh, to exit it. I like this. That's cool. They have a new flavor F one fifty. That's actually kind of cool. Made, you know, made after Sam. And I gotta say, appreciate these prices, everybody. I mean, it's like a dollar for an ice cream. That's pretty pretty dang good. So anyway, that was cool. No complaints. And then obviously this is you know very much a uh, setup like an old school. Pop shop, pop shop, sweet. So that was a bit of a quick walkthrough, but yeah, actually super interesting. I mean, you learn a lot about, you know, history of stores and companies that you never would have known about. I think the intentions of Sam Walton were, uh, you know, seemingly very positive. It seemed like a really cool thing and to see where the business started and where it ended up, pretty cool. So. If you're ever in Northwest Arkansas, they call the area NWA, like the acronym for the area, Northwest Arkansas, I definitely recommend stopping on by the Walmart Museum.